happy to see you join us for a time of dance and le- and dance for Jesus first let us pray Father Jesus thank you for giving us for giving us thousands and life to to stay with thank you for giving us parents and elders and for giving us a loan and thank you for giving us water and thank you for giving us a ground and in Jesus name we pray amen let us dance for Jesus yay Even through the deepest valley, you go before me, you are here. For I know you'll never leave me, your love surrounds me, I won't fear. When I'm broken, and down to nothing, I know that you are always up to something good. long time ago, in a city called Ramah, there lived a man called Elkanah and his wife called Hannah. They had no son, so they prayed to the Lord for a baby boy. God heard their prayers and blessed them with a son, who they named Samuel. Hannah, in her prayers, had promised the Lord that if she had a son, she would give him back to the Lord to serve him all his life. Hannah remembered her promise to the Lord, and when Samuel grew up to be a young boy, his parents took him to Shiloh, to the house of the Lord. The priest of Shiloh was Eli. Hannah spoke to Eli about her promise made to the Lord. She said, I asked God for this child, and he answered my prayers. So I am giving him to the Lord to serve him as long as he lives. Eli remembered Hannah and her prayers and so took in Samuel to train him in the ways to serve the Lord. Elkanah and Hannah thanked the Lord, left Samuel with Eli and went back home happily. Good morning boys and girls and welcome to Sunday Service Online where I, Teacher Miranda, I am going to teach you a lesson about prayer because September we are all going to learn something about prayer. And who's excited to be here? Because I am excited. Are you excited? I can hear a boy say that he's excited. I hear a girl saying that she's excited. I am excited. You are excited. We are all excited. Let's sing a song. Read your Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible. Pray every day if you want to grow. And how many of you have grown because they pray every day and they read their Bibles? Okay, now let's go to the lesson. As you've seen from the video, Hannah did not have any children. And Hannah was very sad because she could not have any children. And do you know what happened? One day, Hannah was extremely sad. She was so sad, she went to the temple. She went to the temple and then she started praying. And do you know what happened next? God answered Hannah's prayer. He gave her a son and Hannah named her son Samuel. And do you know what that means, boys and girls? That even when it's hard, 
even when you go through difficult situations even when you seek and when you want a new toy always go to god when things are difficult when you don't understand anything always go to god because god understands your pain and god loves us so so much and god hears all your prayers even those hard prayers he hears them and I hear a bell. A bell is ringing. It's time for memory bus. My name is Jedu to I Club. Lord, I call to you. I have every morning I pray to you. Lord, I call to you. I have every morning I pray to you. And we are back. And how many people have memorized the memory bus? I have, Lord, I come to you. I pray to you every morning. Every morning. Who else has memorized the memory verse? No chorus answers. I want hands up. Yes, you. You are correct. And now let's go to a time to give money for Jesus. And this is that time that I ask you to go to your mommy or your daddy or your guardian or your big sister or your small sister to help you in giving money for Jesus. And clap for yourself where you are because I'm clapping for all of you for setting aside money for Jesus. May God bless you and keep you. And from the lesson again, I want one volunteer to tell me what they have learned. I want hands up. I cannot see your hands. Yes, you? Yes, you are right, that God hears our prayers. And number two, that when it's so hard to pray, that we should remember to keep on praying. And number three, that God loves us so much that he will answer our prayers. Just like he did to Hannah, he answered her prayers and he gave her a son and she named her son Samuel and I have a few questions for you what is this picture who is this person you're correct it's Hannah and this one it's Elkanah and the last picture this one it's Samuel. You are all correct. And we have come to the end of the lesson. But before I go, I'd like us to pray. So let's put our hands together. Bow down. And let's pray. And close your eyes. Don't forget to close your eyes. I can see you. Close your eyes. And let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for today. Thank you so much for the lesson. We have learned how to pray even when times are hard. Father, may we remember that you love us so much and that in times of difficulty that we should choose to pray to you because you hear our prayers and you answer our prayers. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen, amen, and amen. And if I've said that prayer, I pray that you're going to be blessed. I pray that as your week starts and ends, that you will remember to pray and you will remember that God hears our prayers. From me to you, goodbye.